Hey golf fans, this is early 1981 and welcome to Hook's Golf Club in Sweden. This is a Swedish RCR and it was designed by the very talented Matt F. Adamzik. Now Parkaban, the park course, hugs the lake Hawk Ashon. This is surrounded by a big beautiful Swedish forest landscape. I do apologise if I have murdered some of the pronunciations there, but without further ado, let's take a look at the course settings. As always, we will be leaving everything at default. The fairways are normal, greens are normal, green speed is fast, time of day is morning, and the weather is overcast. Let's take a look at the tee options. We do have five tee options to choose from. We will be playing off the white tees, which are playing 6,935 yards. Now, the final project time of this course from start to finish took Matt 255 hours, guys. And he had to create his own 3D elevation map since no LiDAR was available. So really looking forward to this one. Not swinging well of late, so not sure how the round's going to go. But I'm sure the course is going to be a joy to look at and play. So hole number one. Short par four, playing 404 yards. Just looking to take this driver down the left-hand side of the fairway. We've hit a slight fast there. But it does look like the, the fairway is going to keep us in play. But I have played a few of Matt's courses. And uh, like I said, very talented designer. And he spends a lot of time creating his courses. So this club, the lob wedge, is absolutely perfect. Just going to apply a good bit of backspin here. I think we may just carry past the pin. But we should manage to spin this back towards the flag stick. And hopefully leave a tap in. Putt for birdie. It's a good strike, we get it perfect. This is tracking well. It should spin back. We do generate a spin. Oh, wow, it's spun back a lot more than I had hoped, but we are in a slight uphill um, slope there. So green speeds are 177. An uphill putt, turning from left to right. This putt's tracking. It turns beautifully right into the center of the cup and we do kick things off with a birdie. But guys, we did surpass the 4,000 subscriber mark uh, the other day and I cannot thank all you amazing subscribers and viewers enough for the continued support on the channel. I am still trying desperately to get a PlayStation 5 to improve the video quality and experience on the channel. There's a fast and a horrible swing line. We're gonna be lucky if we do hold the fairway here. Oh, that is a member's bounce if ever I've seen one. We do get a favourable kick, yeah, and it kicks us back hour. into the left-hand side of the fairway. So 167 yards, down two feet, up two feet even. Four mile per hour wind. I think the six iron should be good. Just try to land this right at the front of the green. It's a beautiful strike, by the way. Well, we're green and it hopefully here. should sit down fairly quickly. We did apply a good bit of backspin there, just to get it sitting down as quickly as possible. So we do have a 22 foot putt, but very nice clean course so far. It's a course I have never heard of, but according to the designer, oh, that needs to turn, that needs to, oh it does turn, it does turn. I thought we maybe pushed it slightly right, but fortunately... It did turn, and we do kick things off with back-to-back -back birdies, and we move on to hole number three, which is a par five. Short par five. I take it that's the lake here on the left-hand side. I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce the name of the lake, guys. But head over to TGC Tours if you want more information on the course from Matt. So we do get the perfect, 98% perfect. But like I was saying, the designer lives in this area. And I can only assume that this is his local course. And the fact that he created his own 3D elevation map um, speaks volumes about the designer. So five wood. Just try to chase us onto the green. And hopefully it does kick forward. I don't think we'll, we'll get up near the pin. But hopefully we do get on the dance floor. It should kick favourably for us give us an eagle opportunity that is a hell of a bounce which i didn't expect really didn't expect that firm kick but it has took us almost pin high here it does start to roll off a little bit to the left but pin high putt uphill 20 feet 
It is uphill one foot and it is going to turn from left to right here. Let's see if we can convert this birdie. Our putting's not been good at all in uh, previous rounds. I've left that short. But like I say, really struggling with my game at the moment. Maybe not struggling, but very inconsistent. It's not as if we're shooting over par or anything, but my swing line, my swing timing, these past six, seven rounds, I've just found is very erratic. But hole number four, short par three once again. Oh, look at this. Is that a training facility over there? A pitching putt or, or putting green? Very cool addition. Segregated by the fence there. I bet there's been a few balls um, winged over the fence. So just try to... Chase Freewood here, almost hit driver there. Oh, there it is, a fast. It's going to certainly take us over to the left-hand side of the fairway. But so far, a relatively short course. But imagine guys that are comfortable with the, the pitch shots would tear this course up. I'm having to play a bit more strategically and leave myself good yardage coming into this with wedges. So just applying a lot of loft and a lot of backspin here trying to attack this pin from 105 yards out. That three mile per hour wind will help me. Ball at our feet is going to move over to the right hand side. Oh, it's a slight fast and with that we are going to be over to the left of the pin I would imagine. Might spin back a little bit. It's going to be pin high. But once again these slight fast and slight slows when I'm trying to be so accurate into the greens is uh, really affecting the outcome the shot but we do have a birdie opportunity from 13 feet not a lot of turn in this so far the greens have been pretty uh, mild and as I say that it's a misread putt ball actually went five feet past but I do love these Scandinavian courses guys I am such a huge fan of courses from Scandinavia in front of us here. They pose such a a real challenge, visually spectacular, and certainly reward strategic precision play. So five iron should be perfect. That is a really good clean strike. I need to repeat that more often. Need this to get down. Just a little bit long. Finding it hard to get dialed into to some of these pins due to the the location of them and the yardage that I'm being left with really in between clubs here. So I'm going to loft and change the attack angle of the club. I don't think I've hit that. I did hit it, but it's another fairly easy putt that slides past the hole. But we do remain at three under par. Pleasing thing for me is that I'm giving myself birdie opportunities. We are hitting greens in regulation. But what a great course so far. You can just tell the designers invested a lot of time into this. The sculpting and planting, absolutely fantastic. So once again, tough pin location. I think we're just going to let that wind take us over to the left-hand side and hopefully kick this back towards the pin as softly as possible. Get it perfect. Did pull it slightly to the left. It's tracking well. Is it going to sit down? There's the kick. But with that kick on that downhill slope, well, that'll do for now. it just really okay, here's a accelerated ten, the ball. Better. And we are 24 feet past the pin. Three inches downhill. But like I say, some of these pin locations are tough to attack due to the location. That's not going to turn. That didn't turn anywhere near as much as I expected it to. And we okay, do remain at three under par. So three consecutive birdies to kick things off. Match by three consecutive pars as we move on to hole number seven. It's another short par four. Just love the lighting in this course, by the way. This is a spectacular course. It's another view of the lake there. Should be smooth sailing off the tee. I just love how the, the views of the lake and the forest combine. And it just really creates a visual masterpiece, guys, with the, the lighting. It's another tough pin, but yardage this time is absolutely perfect. Don't want to spin this back too much. With that two mile per hour wind, an uphill elevation. Just applying a touch, a backspin, just to get this ball sitting down quickly. It's a good strike. We are right at it. 
ball should kick left here off the green, I would imagine. It does. And it runs out. And that should leave us a four foot putt. Certainly no gimme here. I'm enjoying the the variation of uh, green difficulties here. Had some very slow beads, subtle beads that give you a good chance of birdie. And in that hole there, beads seem very aggressive. So four under par. Hole number eight. It's another short par four, so just coming down to the free wood. Certainly don't want to leave myself a pitch shot. But like I say, if you are comfortable le with leaving your pitch shots and you're using a longer driver, I would imagine you would tear this course up. So that should leave us a wedge into this eighth green. 105 yards, up three feet. Well, that subtle wind, very mild uh, wind conditions today. I'm just going to have to fully backspin this and try and fire this one right at the pin. Looks like it's a tough um, green as well. Oh, it's a great strike. This is tracking well. This could drop in, you know. Get in. Oh, we've hit the flag stick. I thought for one second we may have dunked that. But that is going to set us up for a tap in birdie. All right, nice little two-foot putt. Challenging green there. Certainly don't want to leave yourself uh, a putt from distance. So solid front nine so far. We are five under through eight holes. So hole number nine, par five, dog leg left. Quite a tight gap here between the two bunkers, but we're going to try and thread the eye of the needle. Oh, there's a fast. But once again, I just really love how the course has now taken us back into the, the beautiful Swedish forest landscape away from the lake. The lake name is Hawk Ash John. Hawk Ash John. Like I say, guys, I do apologise if I'm upsetting anyone with getting these pronunciations wrong. Um, that is how I would pronounce it. But we're just hacking our way out of the rough. And one thing I have uh, informed uh, 2K and HB Studios is the hybrids coming out of the rough, guys. Um, the, the lie is not as good as you're getting in most long irons and that is wrong because I'm sure most of you guys know hybrids sometimes referred to as rescue clubs should be more forgiven out of the rough than say a five iron four iron just to make the game a bit more realistic so it's another fast swing line and swing tempo very erratic this hole but we do have a birdie opportunity from 13 feet out Slightly downhill. Go on, turn, 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 turn. No, I just cannot make a putt from distance today. Setting up here with a four. But I'm loving the challenge of this course. These greens aren't ridiculously tough, but there's just enough challenge on them to get you to stop and think about your putting and give the the read the respect it deserves. Hole number ten. Once again, a relatively short par four. But this really is a spectacular forest course, guys. Probably refer to this as a, a parklands course. This one's around 110 yards to the pin. It's such a natural, clean course. So 111 yards, bang on. Just going to apply a touch of backspin here. Oh, early. There's a slow one. Look at that for a swing line, guys. You very rarely see me have a swing line as erratic as that but it is going to leave us a chip shot from just off the green fringe Third shot. seven yards out quite a fair amount of movement here so just going to set this slightly right of the cup and see if we can bounce this in oh it's a slow is it going to turn in though? There's no way that should have dropped. So my calculations must have been way off there because we got a severe, slow, horrible swing line. <laughs> it, it dropped in. That's how bad I'm playing here, guys. And occasions that the game wants to show replays of my horrid chippings. Very fortunate that dropped because my my setup must have been way wrong for a red slow to uh, to bounce in. But hole number eleven. 
There's a severe slow once again, and this time we are going to be in severe trouble. So the core's rightfully punishing us here. We're going to be in the heavy rough, and this tree is going to be right in our way. So we're going to have to really fade this round the tree, aim at the lake, and just try and kick this up towards the green. This could go horribly wrong. A fast here probably puts me in the lake. Just try to kick this up from the fairway. I think it may just come up a little bit short. I think it'll land in the fairway. Is it going to kick up? Ah, oh, not, not the kindest the bounces there. Typical, I got a perfect laser beam swing line there. Out of the rough. So let's see if we can splash this close. And get the up and down for the par save. But just look at some of the views here, guys. Such a natural looking course absolutely spectacular that lake looks as if it has crystal clear waters so this putt for this par save not drained a putt from this distance all day so far that looks good though it should hold its line it does hold its line and we do manage to drain a par from significant distance for the par save and we do remain at six under par certainly of course it's going to reward good play good shots and certainly punish you for any wayward ones. So 174 yards, just going to fully apply backspin. Not that you can really generate backspin in five irons, guys, but it will get the ball sitting down quicker. Need this to land right hand side of the flag stick, which we have achieved. Oh, yardage should be bang on. Problem is, is this ball going to sit down? I think there's a slight slope. Go on, sit, sit. No, that was never sitting down with that club there. But we do have right, a slight uphill putt from we'll 13 feet. Sprint. But once again, loving the variations of the greens, guys. Like you've seen on the previous hole, the, the beads were very subtle. Now we've got a real challenge here, and I've not hit that. Putting's up and down today. Left that extremely short. We do tap that in for the par, and we will remain at 6 under par. But it's such a beautiful, fun course to play guys very realistic it's another short par four here like i say if you're using the 295 bridgestone driver and you're good with pitch shots you will certainly be scoring um better than me i would imagine it's another slow and i think we could be in trouble here once again we are going to have to apply a fair bit of fade once again, let's have a look at the lay of the land up here. And just try and kick this on from the fairway. It should come out hot. Hopefully we get enough turn this time. Just looking to land this short. And let it release out up onto the dance floor. Oh, we've turned it beautifully. Yeah, we've turned it beautifully. Oh, go on, kick. Oh, what a shot. This could be getting the hole. Wow, what a golf shot that is, guys. Maybe a little bit fortuitous that we came out of the rough. But fortune does favour the brave. And that is a great golf shot. It'd be criminal not to convert this for birdie number seven. That should turn. It does turn. And we do move to seven under par. Very happy with that after finding the heavy rough. And the tree line there. But hole number 14. It's a very short par 5. Look at the gap we've got to, to drive through here with the, the trees. Slight fast. That is going to take us way over to the left hand side there. So we're going to have to draw the second shot I would imagine. 188 yards up 11 feet. Bunker and play in the right hand side. I love the strategy of some of these holes. It is quite a short course. Just try to draw this round these trees and hopefully kick it up onto the dance floor. Oh, there's a fast that's going to be actually in the trees. Wow. And once again, we've been rightfully punished. Really made a mess of that. My swing timing has been so inconsistent today, as is my swing line. A lot of laser beams and a lot of etch-a-sketch lines, but just try to flop this close. Oh, I put a slow, that is just going to disappear to the right-hand side of the green. Could actually work its way off. 
But when you see the yardage of this course, especially from the, the tips, which is under 7,000, you think, I can score really well here if I'm swinging well today. But there is a fair challenge in this course. Especially from fairway to green. That needs to turn. Oh, it's a par. It's another par five, actually, that we we failed to birdie. That has been a common theme in the past six, seven courses where we are really not taking advantage of these par fives to improve our score. So hole number fifteen. It's another short par four. Just do not want to leave myself a pitch shot. There's a perfect ninety-eight percent power. I'm getting quite a few of them. I find it funny, a few of you are actually um, picking up on that in the comment section. But 93 yards. We do have the sand wedge here. With that slight elevation in the wind, this club should be perfect. So fully backspin in this, it should go long and probably spin back a couple of feet. Oh, there's a the perfect. Need that ball to get down. It should spin back. It is spinning back. Didn't expect it to come out of the, the light rough as well as that. But we've got an 11 foot putt. Slightly downhill. Just going outside left edge of the cup here and hopefully it does turn back in. Looks good. Turns right into the heart of the cup. And we do pick up our 8th birdie. Let's see if we can finish strong here and finish with 3, three consecutive birdies to take us to 11 under par. So hole number 16, it's another par 5, very short. But once again, going to have to put a bit of turn on this one. Just to get distance. It's turning beautifully. And that should leave us a great sight into this 16th green. 232 yards. In between clubs here a bit. But just going to chase this five wood. I don't think we'll get up the, the top part. Oh, we certainly ain't with the fast. I was going to say, I don't think we'll get up to the top part off the green. But I think we may well off. But once again, another fast just killing me. Swing timing has been extremely poor today. So let's splash this out the heavy rough. Should run up well. Go on. Oh, it's a great recovery shot. And it should ensure a tap in birdie from two feet. And we do move to nine under par with two holes to play. But this course is absolutely fantastic, guys. It really, really is such a natural, clean looking course. And like I say, just love the, the Swedish landscape with the forest and the lake. It really is. A visually beautiful course which plays better than what it looks. The playability on this course is absolutely superb, by the way. This should be all over this pin. This should be all over this pin. That's actually sat down a lot quicker than I expected it to. I would have liked that closer. So we do have a 15 foot putt. Not a lot of turn in this one, though. Slightly uphill. I've actually really enjoyed these 177 greens. Not slow, but not extremely fast. Turn, turn, turn. Oh, we do pick up the birdie. I didn't think that was going to turn, nor had the legs. But we do move to 10 under par with a final hole coming up. Let's see if we can pick up a final birdie here and move to 11 under par. It's another short par four. I think the majority of these par fours are under 400 yards, you know. Swing. Oh, it's a horrible swing line. Look at that. And that swing line's taking me over to the left hand side. It's another 98% um, power. But if you've not yet joined the the channel, guys, hit the subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. Like I say, the channel is going from strength to strength, and that is all down to you guys. I cannot thank you all enough for watching my content. But Sam Wedge is absolutely perfect here. This should land short of the pin. Should get a good bit. Of uh, bounce here. We do. And it should leave us a putt from about 5 feet. 6 feet. Certainly no gimme though. But I have loved the variation. 
on the greens, guys. This really is a superbly designed course. Is it going to turn? It does turn, so we do manage to finish with the birdie. So 61, 11 under. Could and should have been a bit better, but my swing line and timing was a bit erratic. But what a course that is, guys. Get out there and play it. You will certainly enjoy it. But that is it for today's video. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. I will leave you with my final round stats. But until the next video, guys, take care, peace out, and love you all. Bye.